What is up guys, welcome to my channel and today I am back with another GTA 5 online video and I hope you guys are all having a good day and in this video I will be showing you a solo money glitch and this is a card duplication glitch so if you do go on to enjoy this then please drop a like down below and also subscribe for more GTA 5 videos like this and also turn on my post notifications by clicking the bell beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future GTA 5 videos. But anyway guys, let's just get straight into this glitch. So this glitch right here is a card duplication glitch and it's completely solo. You don't need any friends to help you with this glitch. And with this glitch, you will be able to duplicate Sultan RS's. So I recommend getting that car and fully upgrading it and you also don't need to have custom plates for this glitch. Now you will need to have an MOC with the personal vehicle storage for this glitch as well. Now I just want to quickly give a shout out to the gambler for this new workaround right here. So to do this glitch as I said you do need to have an MOC with the personal vehicle storage and you will need to have a Sultan RS. and. I recommend actually registering as an MC for this glitch and if you can't do that then that's fine. So if you can register as a motorcycle club then I recommend having a Fagio, at least one Fagio stored in your garage. And if you can't register as a motorcycle club then just have some free elegies stored some in one I of your garages around. as well. But as you can see, I've got a Fagio stored in this slot right here. But I'll explain what I'll you need to, to do if you can't register as an MC as well. But anyway, you need to make sure that your Sultan RS is stored inside your MOC just like this. And as you can see, this doesn't have a custom plate on it. You don't need to have custom plates for this glitch. But anyway, what I recommend doing is actually moving your MOC to the Maze Bank Tower. So just take it to the spot where I take it to right now because it's perfect for this glitch. Now I just want to give a big shout out to Killer Gaming who actually showed this in his video and that's where I saw this. So a big shout out to Killer Gaming and yeah he uploads GTA glitches as well so definitely go and check him out. But anyway, just bring your MOC to the spot that I take it to right now. And once you do get it in here, all you need to do is then go back into the back of your MOC and then you are ready to do the glitch. Now, if you can't follow this video at any point, there will be a text tutorial in the description to help you as well. But anyway, what you need to do is just go into your MOC like I said and then you are ready to do the glitch. So what you need to do is stand beside your car and I recommend moving your camera round to the front of the car and then once you do that you want to start holding an R2 or RT if you guys are on Xbox and only hold it in slightly, don't hold it in all the way, just hold it in a little bit and at the same time you want to be holding in the button for the pause menu. And what you need to do is get in the car while you're holding those buttons in. And then while you're getting in the car, you need to watch your character very closely. And just watch him reach down and then he should put his hands back on the steering wheel. And as soon as he puts his hands back on the steering wheel, that's when you want to let go of the buttons. So I will show that in the video right here. As you can see, I actually messed up right there. If you do drive out, then just go back into your MOC. And if you can't drive your car or whatever, then just return your vehicle to storage and then go back into your MOC and then you should be fine to do the glitch again. But as I said, what you need to do is move your character to the front of the car and then start holding an R2 or RT but only hold it in a little bit, don't hold it in all the way. And at the same time, make sure you're holding in the button for the pause menu. And then while you're holding those buttons in, you will then need to get in the car. And then as you're getting in the car, make sure you're watching your character very closely. So he'll get in the car, he'll put his hands on the steering wheel and then he'll reach down and then he'll bring his hands back up to the steering wheel. 
and as soon as he brings his hands back up you want to let go of the buttons and if you do it correctly you should get the pause menu and then you should respawn outside and you shouldn't have a car out here. Now if you got that then you've pretty much hit the glitch. Now that might take you guys a few tries to hit because it definitely took me a few tries and it's not the easiest glitch to get the timing right so it will be a little bit tricky to get that timing right. But anyway you just want to go back into your MOC and you should either see two cars on top of each other or two cars inside of each other. So as you can see I actually had my two cars inside and they actually glitched out. So if you do have two cars inside of each other or two cars on top of each other then all you need to do is then go back outside of your MOC and then just request your Fagio or just pull a free elegy out of your garage or call the mechanic for a Fagio or a free elegy out of your garage. But once you do that, just take it over to your MOC and store it, and it should say the personal vehicle storage is full. Just accept that alert message, and then you should be in the MOC, and this should happen right here. So at this stage, what you need to do is then just buy a free elegy over the top of whatever vehicle is now inside your MOC. So if you used a Fagio, replace the Fagio. If you used a free LG, then just replace that. But anyway, once you've done that, all you need to do is then get back in the car. And as you can see right here, I've got this plate on it right now. So what you need to do is then just drive out. And once you drive out, you will get a new plate on the car. So now what you need to do is then just wait for the free LG to be delivered to your MOC. And then once you've got that, what you need to do is then just drive the car back into the MOC and then from here you have successfully duplicated this car. So, so the rest of the gameplay will just be me showing you that I have now duplicated this car into the spot where the Fagio was and I still have the other copy outside of my garage. But yeah, that is how you do this glitch. As I said, if you couldn't follow that, then there will be a text tutorial in the description to help you. As I said, the timing can be tricky for this glitch, so I wouldn't be surprised if some of you guys did find this glitch hard to do. But anyway, that is how you do this glitch, and I hope you guys could follow this video. And if you did enjoy this video, then please drop a like down below, and also subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.